Right, hello there. Ever felt like getting the Bojess box set from Italiari? Well, we did. And this is what ended up. Yeah, that, that's, that happened to us. We actually did it because we were mad. Um, we saw this. Um, sorry, uh, this is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. So he always complains when I don't mention him. <laughs> um, right, so basically, we were a bit. We were going through all the sort of stuff we could get and stuff. And, and we liked these Atari kits. And we did the Vietnam one not so long back. And then we saw this one and we said, hey, let's have a go at it just for fun. Just for something to do for the week. And we did. And this is what came up. Uh, we also got a couple of additional boxes. We got the cavalry box from someone or other, and the um, some additional infantry. Sort of, you've got Arabs with machine guns, which is awesome. Um, just just to augment the armies. Um, we've got a nice little camp that comes with the box, and we've got that which comes with the box, and that's all the French. And that's the Rift uh, people. There you go. What do you think? Pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's a nice little old collection, and we definitely enjoyed putting it together. It was fun. Um, this is an MDF fort, and it's okay. It's fine. You can use it. It's absolutely fine. And the thing with MDF, um, I don't like knocking holes in the side of it to make it look battle damaged and tired and worn um, because someone went to the effort of designing the thing and I don't like cutting MDF stuff up it just feels bad um, we bought that MDF tower thing didn't we yeah. so, um, and we wanted to put holes in it and we ended up building our own so we could smash it up and, and make it look bad um, <clears throat> yeah that's, that's the kind of thing that happens so we have here um, pictures of the little people and pictures of the little bad people and are bad people which are bad are the french bad or are the rift bad well the rift are fighting for independence and the french are fighting to well no, hang on a minute now um the rift are fighting for independence from spain and somehow the french got involved and ended up when spain backed out of the war the french ended up holding the baby so to speak and ended up in this long protracted war that lasted decades with these like, guys who had nothing to do with the French. It's like a tag your it. And yes. <laughs> and so the Spanish said, can you come and help? And the French said, sure. And they said, right, see ya, and ran away. Um, and they ended up in this massive, long protracted conflict, which technically hasn't really been resolved even to this day because the local government now still doesn't agree that the Rift people should be independent um, because the Rift people aren't Arabs. They're, I don't know what they are. They're Greeks or something. Or they're... they're weird blonde haired blue eyed people half of them it's weird it's really really weird who exactly they are um and they're not certainly the local people who live there so they 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 don't get along and and they fight each other even to today so the french sorted nothing out you know if you want a problem solving don't send the french to do it and uh, they might have solved a Ghana problem out but then other than that i, I don't think they're, they're very good at sorting stuff out then again neither are the british so <laughs> I've got sand all over my chair. <laughs> right, anyway, um, so it was jolly good fun putting the thing together. Um, and it, it looks great. Um, unfortunately, we're not actually going to be playing any games with it because we got hold of some French. Um, so, and given that we've got um, Fuzzy Wuzzies and Anza troops to play with as well. Um, we've decided to do it in 28 mil. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've also got um, a gunboat there. Two gunboats. I don't know where the other gunboat is. Where's the other gunboat? Right above you. What do you mean above me? Behind you. Behind me? Yep. It's hiding up there next to a helmet. It's very strange. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we've got a lot of these um, chaps. Um, these chaps to do games with. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're doing it in 28mm. Um, and also we can cross cross it over with our Call of Cthulhu game we're playing. Yeah. Because it's actually the Call of Cthulhu game we're playing is set in Egypt. Well, set in and around North Africa, really. Um, so that's why we're, so we're expanding. And these, uh, these are actually from Atlantic Games. They're sci-fi French. And 
I've done them up as um, Fine Legion. So uh, there'll be a video on that later. Don't worry about it. We've got loads of them. <laughs> um, right. So what what comments do you have? Do you have any comments? I have nothing about 20, 20 minutes. Do not mess it, say anything to me. Well, the 170 second plastics, basically, um, which is probably the cheapest way of collecting figures. Um, they tend to be a bit bendy. The paint comes off quite easily if you don't have a decent base to them. Um, but then again, you know, figures are figures. Especially you don't undercut them, even worse then. Yeah, it swings and roundabouts. Um, we, I mean, we used to do a lot of stuff in 20mm. Um, in 172nd and we used to really enjoy doing them and then we sort of went up to when bolt action came out as a big thing we we, we upgraded to bolt action scale uh, 28 mil um, so that's basically how and we then went. we were like oh let's put some bolt action stuff up and see what happens and then, and then someone bought it yeah we, we we inadvertently sold all our bolt action <laughs> collection we now have nothing to play with <laughs> for bolt action so now have everything else to play with instead yeah yeah um, but yeah, that's okay. But it, it makes a change from doing other stuff. Um, as far as sci-fi goes, we're doing some... Um, oh god, that's a whole cat kettle of worms. Uh, we're doing some... Uh, we're doing SCP as well, so... That's, oh yeah. That's a, quite a fun little game. Um, MTF. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway. Anyway, uh, Riff War. That's basically... that. There you go, Riff War. It actually says it on the box. Uh, the Algerian... It's a g g g g g revolt. Uh, Tower egg revolt. Yeah, the riff. Um, and Winnie the Pooh at the back. Uh, you may notice babies change everything. Uh, that's my lovely Star Wars collection. <laughs> and Winnie the Pooh, for some reason, has made an entrance into the gaming room. Jess drew that. Right. That's good for Jess. Thank you, Jess. It's for... quite good, to be fair. Yeah, it is good. It's just my gaming room isn't supposed to have Winnie the Pooh in it. Why? Because it's for gaming. It's not for Winnie the Pooh. Nice way to put out. Yeah. Um, sorry, where was I? Uh, yeah, 1877 to 1912. Oh, God. Poor guys. Um, anything else to um, actually go into with, with these figures? The 20 mil figures. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. It's all right. They do, they do two sets of this kind of stuff, don't they? Yeah, uh, they do loads. Mm. Uh, they do the Vietnam one we did. We enjoyed doing that. But then we... Thought I might do it as a range, and we sort someone bought it all, and we never got round to getting it back. Oh yeah, you got the Vietnam. So I was like, oh, that's, oh I didn't know I had this. Let's try that out. Oh, okay, it's gone. Yeah, it was kind of depressing, really. Um, and they do all sorts of other stuff. These little starter sets are great because it's like a little game in a box. I mean, technically, with the figures you get with this, you could fight endless games. You have enough figures; you don't need to buy anything else, really. You just get everything in a box, and it's just fun. Yeah. Um, so it is great. And the great thing about this is you don't need any other scenery because it's basically desert. Yeah, that's literally the point, isn't it? It's yeah. Desert. So a bit yeah. of palm trees, as you can see in the box. Right. I don't even know if they do have palm trees in the region. Do they have palm trees? Not a clue. I mean, on the coast. They have those. But it wasn't fought on the coast, was it? Isn't it pretty much where they filmed Star Wars? What, Tatooine? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't the desert of Tatooine out there somewhere? Isn't that, or is that somewhere else? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Off the top of my head. It's in Tunisia, isn't it? Don't ask me anything about it. Like I said, I know nothing. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't rely on you for any information, obviously. Well, cause, you cause you, you'd never remember anything I say to you. Um, anyway, so uh, that's it. It's a boring video. Not really much else to say about it other than, hey, it's here. It looks awesome, well. It does. Well, it looks okay. It's okay. Um, but we're going to be doing it all in 28mm, so that's going to be fun because we're going to have loads of smashed up stuff and blown up buildings and stuff. And, and also, Sulu might turn up at some point. The what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for our Cork Sulu yeah, game, yeah. Um, which is fun. Um, fishmen as well, but I don't know how we're gonna fit that in. I'm not sure how we can fit <laughs> the fishmen in the desert, but I'm sure we can figure a way. Look at the wells. That that's it. That's, that explains it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, the box comes with a complete set of instructions on how to build things, and um, that's how awesome their fort looks. Has looks like that. It's a real shame. Um, so you get all that sort of stuff and you get uh there 
is this awesome instruction book which gives you very complete instructions on how to put it together it looks great on paper not in reality um, it wasn't that easy to put together but we'll figure it out in the end anything else to add now? no, that's, no, that's about it, it. That's it. Um, right so I'm not going to blather on any longer we'll just uh, wander off and leave you to your to the rest of your weekend um, if it is a weekend we're loading up on if it's the middle of the week then don't mm-hmm. worry about it it's day in it well, it's day yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that's true so that's it um, um, this has been Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick uh, it's a goodbye from me goodbye from him goodbye <laughs>